Hey everybody, and welcome back to this nifty short video where we build this really cool secluded witch's home on a remote island between Avonburg and the other mainland. So without further ado, let's get into the intro and on with the time lapse. All right, so today's video is all about going back to the basics when it comes to Conquest Reforged. Now, I got the idea of doing this very simple but very detailed build the other day, and I really wanted to showcase what can be crammed into a small area but still have a beautiful aesthetic. Because of this, I thought this Little Witch's Home would be a great example. Now, I began by placing some gray whack mortar as a baseline and then moved on to adding some slate light mortar and mixed slate for the sides. These were built up in a triangular fashion and I really just kind of wanted to give it a cottage feel on this one. Now, once I built up those sides, I wanted the front to have an innocent looking view. So I added the lighter colors of white plaster and some granite to give it more of a homely look. The part of this build that I truly enjoy is that this cottage looks like it would belong anywhere, but it houses a sinister history and a witch that dabbles in the darkest of magics. If anyone were to somehow stumble upon the home, they would feel comforted by its beauty and surroundings, yet blissfully unaware that their bodies may soon be buried beneath the soil as a sacrifice to higher entities. That is the reason I chose this style, and I think I nailed it, but let me know in the comments about what you think. Now, for the roof, I threw some thatch on there and I detailed it later on with some mossy thatch to really bring out the surroundings and have it blend into the hillside. I also added some windows and vines and other little details in an almost fantasy fairy-esque type theme that really brings it all together. Now you'll see later on in the time lapse I also built some custom trees and I really took my time decorating the exterior landscape because I didn't want too much clutter outside to ruin the beautiful view. Now, I think I've done pretty much enough talking, but let me finish off with this. In case you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel uh, if you like the content and comment below what you would like to see next. You know, give it the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Um, I'm always open to having new ideas and the creativity of the community come through, and it's always a welcome help. So that's pretty much that. My spill's over. Listen to some music, and I'll meet you back around on the walkthrough.
All right, everybody. So here we have the witch's cottage, and I'm gonna have a few more details out for you that I think you're really gonna enjoy. But I wanted to show you this. Now there's no clear pathway up here except for this one, so we're just gonna take it here, and we are going to go inside in just a moment. Now I wanted to show you this um, that I built here. You know, of course we have a little bit of the gardening area, so of course with any witch you need mushrooms and herbs and all these things. You know, um, to brew in your potions and things like that. So that's why I decided to do this. I think it looks really cool. We have multiple different styles here, different plants, and it just really all kind of comes together. Now, of course, over here, uh, we have a tanning hide and all that other stuff. Um, this is the custom tree and another small little baby tree right here. We will get to that in just a moment, but look at this front right off the bat. Like I said, I think it looks homely. I think it looks so good. Adding a little bit of moss to the roof having some overgrown leaves and everything nature kind of taking it over um, obviously the switch would be in tune with nature so it definitely makes sense now walking into the door we have of course the kitchen area here and you can see here we have some uh you know hanging herbs we have some meat you know just basic stuff we have some cobwebs because you know once again nature and insects kind of go together um, and then over here, turning off to the left, we have the bedroom, I guess you could say, but it's pretty much just a bed with some food, some boots, you know, a really nice clock, uh, the clothing to set out, uh, and once again, more cobwebs. Now, the one thing I did is I did not do a second story because in this idea, uh, the second story is essentially kind of dilapidated and kind of torn torn apart so like I don't think I can fit in here no I can't but I wanted to add the gaps in the roof and have the like you know vines and leaves kind of hang in here to give it more of that natural look and I think it looks really cool because if I turn this at nighttime you would see some rays uh, kind of coming through from the moonlight into the build and I think it just looks really really awesome so uh, pretty much surprise number one we are going to go in here and what looks like just like a small little storage area is actually going to take us down into a brewing potion room. Uh, you know, got a little little rat there. He disappeared for a second, but there he is. And um, yeah, this is where they would brew potions. They would go over their enchantments, make notes, all of that stuff in this one little room. And I think it came out really, really well. We have some bats that are the witch's best friends because she's secluded and doesn't really have anybody here. Uh, but yeah, so of course we have um, just a brewing station. You know, that's in normal Minecraft and everything. Uh, but I think this looks really cool. I think it came out pretty nifty. And what I'm going to do now is actually take you to another small little area. So we're going to leave there. We're going to go down this path, down towards these creepy looking dead trees. And what is that? It's a creepy looking door. Now that is a crimson door on this pack, but I wanted to build these trees almost like an overhang, almost kind of like guardians of this area. So when you go through here, you can see all the vegetation is very green. It's very alive and everything. And as you get closer to the door, the dead starts taking over. We have some skulls are kind of hidden in here from, you know, um, unlucky people who visited this island. And then we have the dead trees, the dead bushes, darker colors, all as a foreboding kind of thing to go into this room. Now, this is the main uh, kind of communion room where the witch speaks with the higher entities the daedra the demonic whatever you want to call it but it is here so you can see here uh we have you know these creepy i think those are dispensers but either way it's a creepy little feel uh, we have some spider webs some vines we have a corpse her most recent victim that she is offering to sacrifice to her gods and uh, like i said i just think it comes out really really cool you can see we have some bones on the ground um, and I tried to just make this as detailed as possible. So we have, once again, some vases probably filled with ashes from people or, you know, blood that she can make sacrifices with later. Just a bunch of stuff like that. Like I said, I think it came out really cool. It's pretty nifty in my opinion. Um, just a, a, a nifty little detail here to kind of throw in, but it's kind of tucked away, kind of its own thing. So this is the overall island. And if you look, I mean, here is the witch's hut, and this is Avonburg. You know, this is Mornstell. That's some ruins I'm working on. Stay tuned. But this is pretty much it. Now, I'm probably going to add a few more trees over here on the left side because it seems a little bare. But as it stands right now, this is very Piscaret. Pits. 
picturesque. Uh, either way, I'm having trouble saying that. Either way, um, this is where we have it now. So like I said, really cool build built into the hill, as you can see here. I think it looks really nifty. Uh, all the moss and everything like that just kind of shining through. Um, and then, of course, we have like the window detailing and stuff like that. So that is pretty much that. I think it came out pretty nifty. Um, you know, you can kind of see inside there. But, um, you know, once again, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this build. I had a lot of fun building it. It was really cool, really simple, honestly, uh, but it was a blast. So, um, once again, of course, if you uh, have any ideas, shoot them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to try to work on them as best as I can. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you for sta stopping by. Uh, this is The Legendary Porpoise signing off. I hope you have a good day and happy gaming.